Hi, it's Carlos with PC747. Welcome to the channel. If you've ever wondered what makes a great pilot, you're about to find out. Great pilots make sound judgments consistently. When people imagine flying an airplane, they usually picture moments like these. A checklist being used, an incredible view out the window, a maneuver performed perfectly, or a pass or fail moment at the end of a flight. Those moments are real, but they're not what makes flying difficult. The hardest part of flying an airplane isn't mastering individual skills. It's really about acquiring and demonstrating good judgment, particularly when things don't go as planned. Everything pilots do in training Every maneuver, every landing, every repetition exists for these reasons. Not just to meet a standard, not just to pass a flight test, but to build judgment and confidence over time. Most aviation threats rarely announce themselves out loud. While some threats are obvious, many are not, and those are the ones you have to watch out for. Training isn't designed to teach you how to fly on a good day. It's designed to teach you how to recognize a bad one early before it becomes a problem you can't undo. When pilots climb to altitude and begin practicing steep turns, slow flight or stalls, it's easy to assume the goal is technical precision. To hit a number, to hold an altitude, to meet a standard, but those maneuvers aren't just about precision. They're about learning how the airplane communicates with you. At altitude, you're given something valuable, space, time, margin. Slow flight teaches how lift doesn't disappear suddenly, it fades. Steep turns teach how load factor quietly degrades performance. And stalls teach that control is usually lost progressively not instantly. Each maneuver is really teaching recognition, recognition of cues, recognition of trends, recognition of the moment when judgment needs to intervene. Because later, those same cues will appear much closer to the ground with far less time and far less margin. Knowledge is knowing what happens Application is knowing what to do about it. Most aviation accidents don't happen because pilots lacked knowledge. They happen because judgment arrived too late. Airplanes rarely fail suddenly. The warning signs are almost always present beforehand. The challenge isn't seeing them. It's recognizing them early and acting while there's still room to act. Landings are where pitch, power, alignment, timing, and judgment intersect. That's why they're difficult, because they're unforgiving of delayed decisions. A poor landing doesn't start at the runway. It starts beforehand. Students are allowed to solo when they have demonstrated sufficient judgment. Did this student have sufficient judgment? Every pilot hopes their landing will work out, but hope is not a strategy. Instructors repeat maneuvers because judgment must become automatic. There is no time for debate. Repetition builds a mental catalog. I've seen this before. I know what comes next. I know what to do. That's judgment under pressure. Flying is really about managing consequences, not just managing flight controls. Understanding builds judgment and judgment enables action. So at the end of the day, judgment is the real product of flight training, recognizing problems early, questioning assumptions, accepting imperfect outcomes, making timely decisions, and 
always leaving yourself a way out.